Hold up, people, welcome back to my channel, Life Science. Fantastic. As for the title, you all know today's video is for those who want to choose genetics as their career option. I know, I know, genetics is a very, very interesting subject. But still, everyone has a doubt will I get a job if I choose genetics as a master's course? No worries at all. I am here to clear that doubt. Hey, here's a quick reminder. If you want to know more about MSc in genetics, go check out for that on my channel. And why this video today? Because I have a video request by Nafiz Patan and an interesting question by Abhinav Sharma. So this video is for them. And for all those who have a question mark when it comes to how to make a career if you have a genetics degree. If you have any kind of doubts, do clear your thoughts because I personally have a degree in medical genetics and I do have a job and I'm happy. So no need to worry at all. I, By the way, I just want to say that if you want to be successful at your job, then you must have patience, good communication skills and perseverance. Now, before wasting any further time, let's get started. So I would like to start with what can get you a good job? One, practical hands-on knowledge acquired through some internships or mini projects in the laboratories may increase your chances of getting the genetics related job to up to uh, 80%. Two, get well versed with all the techniques used in the field. By that, I mean get fluent in all the techniques, theoretically and if possible, practically. Three, Temporary work or short-term work within a healthcare environment, that is, for example, hospital, may also prove useful in helping you explore more career options. Four, that is the most important one, be a volunteer. Volunteering with organizations will help you specialize in researching genetic conditions and techniques involved. Five, stay active on job search engines like Nokri.com, then uh, LinkedIn, or follow my Instagram account for regular job updates. <laughs> this was, this actually will help you to make or build up good connections with people already in the field. Plus, you want to miss any job update. Now, let's move on to the next question, which is there in each and every student's mind. That is, in what sectors one can get hired as a geneticist? If you are a geneticist, then you can get hired in hospitals, DNA forensic department, universities, pharmaceutical industry, agricultural firms, research institutes, animal breeding industry, health and beauty care industry, food and drink companies, etc. etc. There are a lot of opportunities for geneticists. Well, I have a list of government institutes which offer good positions, internships, and you can volunteer in. One, NBRC, that is National Brain Research Center. Two, IARI, that is Indian Agricultural Research Institute. Three, ICMR, DMRC, that is Desert Medicine Research Center. Four, NII, that is National Institute of Immunohematology. 5. ICAR NDRI, that is National Dairy Research Institute. 6. NICED, that is National Institute of Cholera and Enteric Diseases. 7. NABI, that is National Agri Food Biotech Institute. 8. IISER, that is Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. 9. NIMHANS, that is N I M H A N S, National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences. 10. C I M A P, that is Central Institute of Medicine and Aromatic Plants. 11. Tata Institute of Genetics. 12. N C C S, that is National Center for Cell Science. 13. C S I R. IGIB, that is Genomic and Integrative Biology. Uh, 14. Uh, PGIMER, that is Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research. 
15 ectrec a c t r e c that is advanced center for treatment research and education in cancer 16 c s i r c c m b that is center for cellular and molecular biology 17 that is n i b m g national institute of biomedical genomics 18 t i f r that is tata institute of fundamental research and many more i told you there are a lot of us if you want to work in private sector or private institutes i mean there are a lot of genomics companies in india right now so the top most are map my genome bion eurofins ngb diagnostics clever gene chg that is center for human genetics t3 molecular genetics then elanjo genetics gene om bio technologies med genome laboratories srl diagnostics metropolis gene x india biosciences Syn Biotechnologies, DNA Wise Genetic Testing, Nucleome Informatics, BioNeved, GeneBox, Genes to Me, Data Cancer Genetics, and many more. I know, I know, many of you might have a question that what will be your job title if you enter the industry? Then, answer to that is it totally depends on the firm, institute, or the organization you go for. For example, you will have title as clinical molecular geneticist, assistant professor, genetic lab technician, or research scientist, etc. etc. If I move on to the salary wala question, then uh, to be very, very frank, the freshers in the industry get a salary range of 2 LPA to 3 LPA. But if you stick through and get good experience, then after three to four years, you get a salary range of 4.5 to 5.5 LPA. And with experience, your salary increases. That's not bad at all. No? You just have to gain experience and work smart. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Hope this video had cleared not all, but some of your doubts. If you have any kind of questions, do comment down below or DM me on my Instagram handle. Details are in the description box below. And I request you all to share this video with all the students out there. And stay tuned for my next one. <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Bye-bye guys. Toodles.